Hi, this is Maginoni, and, and here's some um, review for the three Fear Itself books I got. Secret Avengers number 14, Thunderbolts number 159, and Iron Man 2.0 uh, number 6. I'll do this one really quick. I didn't like it. I thought this was just kind of blah. Uh, I like, I mean, the artwork was kind of interesting. Um, they kind of went through two different styles. Uh, you had this kind of futuristic, um, like, uh, high tech look and then there's a lot of, as you can see there's a lot of colors going on but when you go back to the real world it's kind of blah like the backgrounds at times um, by the way that's Sun Goku um, basically this is the Titana Absorbing Man battle uh, Iron Fist and a couple other Iron Man a couple other guys meet up with um, looks like uh, Chinese uh, superheroes and um, it's just, I mean, there's, the fight is just not good. It's very, you get a lot of panels like this, and I don't want to see panels like that. Even this here didn't look heroic enough to me. Um, I don't know. Like, if I saw this, it didn't inspire me to go, oh, they can handle the situation. Um, see, as you can see, what I mean, it's just kind of very loose. And in some cases, I don't mind loose, but in this, I wanted things more tight. I wanted... Um, I don't know, I, I guess the, something like said something was missing. Um, and then um, at the end, Doctor Strange alludes that Iron Fist is the problem. Um, next up is Thunderbolt Spear itself, number 59. I like this issue. This was actually kind of interesting. This, I really liked it. Because this is dealing with the raft and the villains escaping. It's basically a bunch of short stories. Um, I'm only going to cover the, the couple key ones in this. Um, basically, this is the one where you have, like, Hyde, the Shocker, um, those guys, and basically they're looking for, and obviously they're looking for a way to escape this nonsense that they're in. And um, they basically they get, they get smart, and instead of leaving, because, like, if they just were to leave in the chaos, what would have happened is the Thunderbolts would have gone after them, Secret Avengers would have gone after them, Avengers, X-Men, who knows, and they would have been taken down hard, because they really haven't been practicing. And that's something that they it's rarely addressed in these in the villains, practice. And that's why superheroes usually do better, because they practice. And so what they're doing is basically what they got is they got the um, nanobites dismantled, but it looks like it's still there. And they're going to buy their time, and when their time is right, then they're going to leave. Um, so I thought that part was good. And the other part here, you had like Moonstone. This is, this wasn't too bad. I mean, this is dealing with, with a lot of the women in the prison. Um, and as you can see here, the art style changes. Um, there was also Ghost with, um, uh, much more call it, um, the Walker. And that was kind of, I mean, it was, it was, like I said, it just, it, I liked how they just took it from, like, uh, snapshots of what's going on. Um, I still think that this was still, it's still one of the strongest books for me, uh, for Marvel. And um, also you had uh, Crossbones, who was in this, involved in this one, the final one. Um, I really, like I said, it's, uh, it's always been enjoyable. Now, one thing we'll say is not all of the stories here are, like home runs, so it's like I said, it's it's whatever you're more focused on, I guess you can say, the characters you like. Um, but I, it's the beginning part I thought was really, I thought this part was really strong, and it's really setting the stage for what's to come. And with Secret Avengers, I really enjoyed this issue. This issue is not for everybody. I'm gonna, I'll come right on and say that. I thought the artwork was great. The story was really good. It's really strong. Um, because basically what you have is, you know, this, the um, S.H.I.E.L.D. troops, they're about to go drop down in Washington, and they're being led by Valkyrie. And what you do is, basically what you're doing is you're getting a story between, you're getting two. You're getting the Valkyrie story in the present, and you're getting how Broomhilda became Valkyrie. And the path of the Broomhilda and one of the couple of characters they kind of are very similar, and um, I thought that part was, I mean, obviously it's kind of cheesy and it's forced, but I don't know, it just kind of, 
I, I just liked it in the sense of, you know, we, we keep seeing the same battle in Washington over and over and over again. And in this case, it's a totally different viewpoint in that battle. And that's why I think I liked it. I also liked how, you know, the, the command CO is like, well, Valkyrie's going to, you know, say a few words. And she's just like, oh, most of you are going to die. And she turns around and leaves. And it's like, you know, that's exactly what's going to happen to these guys. There's not much you can say. And um, I really, I mean, I, I, this one was like a winner. It was a definite winner for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely, it's not a standalone issue in the sense of, uh, hey, I want something new to read. But because there's just so much going on, and you have to you know, understand what's going on in the fear itself to be able to appreciate this to a certain degree. Um, overall, though, I'll say two wins in a... Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Wait the video up or down, let me know what you think. And I'll have more reviews later, so until next time.